The REACOM module Reaction Behaviour trains alertness. It addresses the general readiness to react, as well as the ability to raise and hold the attention intensity for a short time. Training with this module is indicated for patients with neurological diseases such as stroke, traumatic brain injury and brain tumour, as well as for patients with psychiatric, gerontopsychiatric and other diseases such as depression, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's dementia, addiction diseases with severe brain injuries and attention impairments in child and adulthood. Alertness is a basic attention function. Therefore, therapy of the attention functions should always start with alertness training. Before starting the training module, it is possible to individualize the training parameters. Via the therapist menu, one can adjust the level of difficulty, duration of session, instructions, help or stressors according to the patient's needs. It is possible to change these parameters at any time during the training. The task in this module is to react to visual stimuli as quickly as possible. A reference object and its instruction is shown at the side of the screen. The object will then appear on screen at different intervals and the patient must react by pressing the appropriate button as quickly as possible. The training starts with only one stimulus presented centrally on the screen. With rising difficulty, there will be an increasing number of objects, the position and interval of the objects appearing on screen will change, and the objects will have different buttons to push on presentation. For higher levels still, the patient can be tested by including the addition of irrelevant stimuli. REACOM works auto-adaptively. The difficulty level will rise or fall depending on the patient's performance. The performance bar illustrates this development. With each change in level, the user will receive additional feedback. At the end of a training session, REACOM will create an evaluation graph. Training results will always be saved automatically. The patient will continue from this stage when starting the next training session. Please find further information on our website.